What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Amazon Fresh block today. It's two hours. I just got to the warehouse. I'm a few minutes early. You can show up 15 minutes early, but I'm like a little more earlier than that. Out of all the gig apps I do, I think Amazon Fresh is the most profitable per hour, even though it, I, I could only do them two hours at a time. And it's usually hard to get more than one per day so i got my trusty gopro i'm gonna put it right here in my pocket film everything for you guys and yeah at the end of the video i'll go over how much miles i drove and i don't see the full payout until the next day so i'll tell you all of that at the end of the video so let's go inside and pick up our order All right, so here are all our stops linked all together. The warehouse is stop number one. So here's stop number two. Number three is back here. Here's a stop on the other side of the back seat. And then the biggest one always goes in the trunk. This one is 12 bags. And this next stop was the big stop, the 12 packages. I realized I had to walk all the way up all of these steps with all of these packages. And I was kind of freaking out, because look, look at all these steps, okay. until she just came out and said, I can leave them all at the bottom of the stairs. So I continued okay. with the packages that were in my hand and I put the rest of them at the bottom of the stairs. She's not answering. Do you have your ID on you? It's in my car. Or something you can leave just to swap out the key? Something like that. Uh, I could leave the phone. Okay. If you tell me what number it is. Yeah, it's 524. Okay. So the fifth floor, and then once you get up there, you'll see the sign and it'll tell you which way to go. Okay. Okay. So I have to bring them to the door. This is an independent living facility. I can't leave it down there in the office. I have to bring it to the door. So she tried to call the customer, but they did not answer. So I have to bring it up to the door and I didn't have my ID with me. So I had to leave the phone up there with her. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to leave and I didn't want to run back to my car because it was a little walking ways. So now I'm gonna trade these keys for my phone and on to the next stop. So it's now a couple hours later. I went and picked up my car seat. I'm in the car line to pick up my daughter from school. I started editing this video while I'm waiting and I gotta get this video up tomorrow because I post every Tuesday and Thursday, if you didn't know. I did do a couple DoorDash orders on the way from there back to this area. So that helped out with the gas a little bit. But miles, let's talk about miles. I only 
drove 12.1 miles I tracked it with grid wise I started the timer right when I was going into the warehouse so from 9 47 and then I ended it at 1107 so 1 1.3 hours is what it took to do that so 12 miles that was a really good order I mean sometimes you get some miles on these deliveries but 12 miles I will take it normally when I do these Amazon shifts the freshes I am done a little bit before the time now as you've seen I had a lot of stairs and elevators and I had to walk all through that building um, it they went pretty smoothly but sometimes it could take you a little bit of time to you know get all the packages out of your car especially when there's just one person what were some other questions that I had how do you sign up with Amazon so Amazon flex I'll put the directions in the descriptions I get asked this a lot you have to go to a website and sign up that way and then they send you a link to the app and that way is how you get the app you cannot look in the app store to get the app um, and then Amazon fresh is in with the Amazon flex app I had to like turn on to where I could get Amazon fresh orders and I see them in between the flex orders so what is what do you need to deliver obviously you need a phone charger We're doing any of these gig apps it's nice to have a phone charger and your ID so you have to have your ID to go into the warehouse you scan it and that's how they know it's you that's how they know what packages to give you sometimes I do get more more packages and I have to kind of stack them up on top of each other I mean I don't have a huge car but I make it work I haven't yet got a order where it's too big to fit in my car and I will put on the screen the total earnings after the tips because each customer can tip and it always goes up I've had a couple that stayed around the $50 mark, but I've also had a couple that went up to like $80, $85. I go more in depth how I organize the packages and what code word you have to look for to help you separate the orders. I have a video, I'll link it down below. I have a whole playlist of all the Amazon flex and fresh videos that I've done I'll link that below also so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing before you go and I will see you guys in my next video bye